Okay, I've built up the back of my wall here with a crusher run material, an ASTM C2940 material. I've got about six inches of pitch over 50 feet. The NCMA, the National Concrete Masonry Association, requires that the pipe for drainage behind our wall sees daylight every 50 feet, a maximum of 50 feet. So I've got a good positive drainage flow here. Check that. I want to make sure it's compacted so that water traveling through my back cut, through my compaction zone, will enter that pipe positively flow and out into the environment. Okay, let me have a little here. I want to get a two foot of overlap. I want to shingle it with the flow of water. Let's bring this up the back of our block. Okay, wrap that in. Okay, nice and neat. What we're doing here is we're wrapping this area in a geotextile fabric. This is our soil separator. We don't want any of that compacted base material to migrate up into our clean stone as we install our drain tile. Yep, up the top a little bit there. Good, we're ready for stone, guys. What we're doing is getting a good bed, about four inches of clean stone. We're going to set our drain tile on the top of that clean stone. As water travels through our back cut and our soil reinforced zone, that water is going to carry sediment with it. So we want that sediment to bypass our pipe, enter this clean stone, water to fill up and drain out. So a nice layer of four inch clean 57 stones before you install your pipe. Let's go. Got my four inch perforated pipe here. See, I've wrapped the end in geotextile fabric. I don't want to wrap the entire pipe or sock the entire pipe in a geotextile fabric because that can clog. The column of clean stone will act as my filtration medium. I don't need that. So I can set this in. This course of block will be below grade. So I'm exiting out, daylighting down, into a dry well or out into the environment. Got a good quality tee box. I'm not cutting a small hole and running a little schedule 40 pipe out of it, but a good tee box. I'll establish my ENS measures outside of that perimeter. Those are erosion and sediment control measures. I don't want the water that's coming out from behind my wall to cause any erosion or sediment damage. So I'll take care of that. Let's go guys. Let's get this pipe in here. Minimum four inch diameter pipe tied in here. Okay, let's tuck this in here. Seating this pipe, four inches of clean stone under it, completely encapsulated with clean stone. That's my filter medium. Water's gonna fill into this pipe, positive gravity flow out into the environment. All my ENS measures taken care of. Are we tight down there? Tighten it in, let's go. Okay, I'm going to wrap my pipe that's daylighted through my wall so it's not disturbed by the concrete that's going to encapsulate this area. I don't want any of my clean stone to migrate out through this opening. Even though it's below grade, I want to make sure I completely encapsulate it. Filling in this area with a concrete mix will keep that stone in place.
The next units I set will bridge that. I've encapsulated my clean stone and I've daylated my pipe.